Now we're ready to do the power supply. We have the bottom cover off. We did that in the last video and you'll be able to find that video here if you need to know how to do that. Uh, but what we're gonna do is remove the power supply now and we're gonna swap this with a brand new Meanwhile one. Let's do it. So while it's still laying down, uh, this is the offender right here. This is what we're gonna be replacing. This is our power supply. And we're ready to take the power supply off. There's four bolts right up here. You're gonna grab your Allen wrench and remove these and be careful and hold this because the power supply is gonna come down. So I backed the camera up a little bit and I got this last bolt out and I'm holding the power supply very carefully here. What I wanna do is set it down just like that. We'll leave it right here sitting just like this and we're actually gonna swap it to the new one and it's super simple. You take your new Meanwell power supply and you set it right in front of the old one. Um, and the reason I do this is I wanna point out that all of the these here are gonna match up in the same spots on the new power supply. The best way I found to do this is to loosen one from the back, um, take it out, and then you'll loosen the, the mean well here, and you'll push this fork in like this. Once you got it in there, just tighten it down, give it a little tug, make sure it's good, and then we're gonna do that for all of them, and this is the easiest way to do it. Just note the location in case you get one out of whack, but you should be pretty simple. Loosen them up, move them over here, and then we'll go from there. As you can see, I put the old one in front to show you that there's a, there's a height difference in these. Uh, that means the bolt patterns are gonna be a little bit different on them. So we'll take this one away, and you can see all of these are in now the way they're supposed to be, and I pop the cap on the top to protect them right here. Uh, that just snaps back down. Now what we need to do is actually reinstall our power supply. Uh, to do that, we are actually going to go right over the top of these cables. So this power supply actually holds those behind it and kind of keeps them secure like this. So take your power supply and put it up. Uh, match the bolts up in the front here. Remember that the bolt pattern's a little different on the new power supply, so you're only going to use two bolts right here. Uh, so get your bolts started and tighten them in and then you'll be done installing the power supply. Now you can see it's all installed very nicely. It's held up by these two bolts and it's in here pretty dang good. Uh, it is hiding the ones behind it like the old one did. Now we should be rocking and rolling with a brand new Meanwell power supply. This thing is gonna be awesome. Now that the power supply is in, if you are here just to install the power supply, you're done. All you have to do is put your back cover on, uh, plug your fan in and put the screws in. That's all you have to do, you're good to go. Don't forget to switch the little switch up here to make sure you're on the uh, right voltage, either 230 or 115. Um, I have it set at 115, just so you guys all know. And uh, you can put this back together and rock and roll. If you're here for the series, we have one more video in the series. And at the end of that video, it's gonna show everything together and working. The next thing we're gonna do is get rid of the touch screen, uh, put a regular screen on this thing, put the TH3D firmware on it, and rock and roll with that. Well, that's it for video number two in this three video series. We successfully installed a brand new power supply in the Ender 5 Plus. It is really simple. If you did this from start to finish, it's only a maybe 15 minutes or less to do, and it's a real nice upgrade for the Ender 5 Plus. The link will be in the description below for the power supply so you can see the model number I used and get it straight from TH3D if you want to. I think I'm really happy with this upgrade. It was really easy to do and it's really gonna help this Ender 5 Plus. Don't forget, you wanna make sure your bed is level again, just like you would do in the very beginning. Make sure everything is straight because we laid that thing on its side. You never know it'll shift. You may even wanna do a manual bed leveling, even though you have the BL Touch on there, uh, just to get it really close. Um, and then from there, you should be good to go. Well, I hope you learned something today. And as always, keep printing. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to catch us live on Monday nights on our live show called Hot Makes. Uh, we do that every Monday night at 6 p.m. And you can catch us there. Also, we're going to start putting out videos every Thursday. So stay tuned for those too. So Monday night, 6 p.m., we do a show called Hot Makes. Thursday, we'll put out a video for you guys. If you love the video, give me that like with the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when we go live on Mondays or when the videos get released on Thursdays, please hit that little bell. Uh, it's right over here somewhere. <laughs> and uh, that'll notify you whenever we go live or we put a new video out. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you got some value from these videos.